Indeed, Mr. Alderman. But why do we wait in the gardens? It is our brother Isaac's wish that his coming home to his bride be no public spectacle. And this rear entry thus becomes his merry threshold. <laughs> it is a shorter route also, and more suited to his years. <laughs> Here come the happy couple.
desires and commands. Uh, yes, forsooth. But besides the love of a wife, Peggy, there is the duty of a wife. <laughs> do you know what the duty of a wife is? Duty, uncle? What's that? We have not time to instruct you in the whole duty of a wife, because business calls me away. I will therefore only inform you the present part of the duty. Yes, forsooth. I have heard also, but, but now I'll venture to peep and see a little. That should be pleased to be done in this manner. Yeah. Put this on, sir. <laughs> now take this halberd in your hand. <laughs> now you shall be as empty a tide a great part of the night. But to watch while your husband is asleep is the duty of a wife here in London. Yes, forsooth. With your aunt, are not this very pretty thing? <laughs> the false pleas of simplicity. And I shall not be present tonight. Upon my pillow will I leave my nightcap, which is the emblem of me, your husband. <laughs> and you must show all duty and reverence to that nightcap as if it were myself. <laughs> so make your uh, take your ticket, my nightcap. Yes, forsooth. Oh, how ridiculous. Was there ever such a piece of simplicity as this? Aunt, I commend Peggy to like that. Give you the key of her chamber. About break of day, go in and put her to bed. Let her sleep till noon. Then put her into bed in the afternoon again and let her sleep till evening. <laughs> if my door shut all day, let her remain as in ignorance. So now, help John Lama, sir. Yes, my best Peggy. I wonder what kind of caution you give your wife and what security you have of her in your absence. A little better, I hope, than you have of your mistress Minnie there. Why? Is she here? I'll give her a lesson. Get up, withdraw! No, pray, stay a little. These are not manners fit for city folk to show, and so countrified. But we have business wife. But husband? So do I. Look at me, husband. What fraud now, wife? You are going out of town, husband. Yes, wife. Do your duty then, and come and kiss me. Oh, I, with all my heart, wife. Nay, nay. Come not round, but over the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Nay, jump, husband, jump. <laughs> so there, wife. So now that he made his way, for the kiss you have earned, and another. <laughs>
Dear wife, I would let you know that I am going. And Sean's like,